but here there is something that I can use, and that is this sweeping arm here, which is like a kind of reaction wood that's grown. And that's, I used the lowest point, the, the thinnest point of timber at the other end, and that goes in relation to the meridian line. So everything is in relation to the meridian lines. This is in relation to the mid meridian line, which should be four meters apart. That's how I get my mathematics to, to be correct. Because when you make triangular, triangular constructions, there's no margin for error really, because the, the, you know, they meet at a point. So if it's wrong, there'll be a gap. So I, I, I try and get it perfect, and then uh, it makes it easy to put together later. So if I make a mistake, it, at least it'll be near correct. That's the idea anyway, hopefully.
I've made this slightly smaller than, than the actual one, so that we have a bit to go on. See, that's it, that's, in, that's vertical now, so that should be, when I hold this vertically, it should be exactly 27 and a half degrees. Between them, or I can just take a little bit off here with the axe when I put them down. Because that's what I was thinking that I could cut them too, I could cut them slightly with the axe so that they would wedge in. That's my idea. The centre mark. I put my block on there. This is my test block, which is slightly, it's about three, four millimetres smaller than the than the real ones. from the meridian, nine up. And then there's my mark and then that's going to go down. It's quite tricky to do this. Um, so what I've done is I've, I've used the angle thing and uh, spirit level. So when the, when the spirit level is zero, that's at 27 degrees exactly. So I can kind of work my way down. It's not really ideal, but I can't think of a better way of doing it, in fact. And I have been using the chainsaw a bit, but actually I don't think it really makes, I don't think it makes it easier using the chainsaw. So now I'm gonna have a go and see, I'm gonna have a go using the feign saw, which I, probably not so easy either, really, but. with a more aggressive saw bit on the fain saw. It's a danger that whole bit's going to come up there. It's a bit high at the moment. I need to take that down a little bit there. Or I'll just leave it and do the next one. That's probably just as well. Yeah, oh, that's good enough. 
nine above the meridian. Should almost be at the top, which it is. Can't see that at all because it's old end grain. But that's why I have a black pen in my pocket. Because old end grain is common enough. these down to the thickness of the dirt level. They're curved, those surfaces, so they need to be straightened off a little bit to snuggle down nicely into the mortises I'm going to make here. Definitely seven, the bit that needs to be left here. Seven. I've done those at right angles to the red line. Always using these meridian lines as my reference point. And um, just to repeat the notion that I'm using these, I'm being very careful and using these reference points because I've never done it before in the absence of experience. Had I had experience doing this, it might not be necessary. You don't really know until you've built a few of these houses what you can leave out in a way. Well, what's good about that is now I know that these can be this size. Now they can drop down. I can also use this because this is the depth, that's three centimetres thick. After I've done this, I also have to take out a decided amount of depth because there's also a mortise and tenon at this point. But I haven't thought about that issue yet. I should think all this stuff's going to fall off.
three centimetre dip here. And I'll do it three centimetres deep. Same as the other one. Can you see how that's going to work? Very cool, very cool. I said in one of the earlier films that I'd always wanted to build one of these three legged tripod things for using as a kind of low tech crane. And I decided to build one even though I didn't use it on the first part. Um, because I thought I might use it now for lifting up these big pieces. So this is the acid test to see really if it was worth the effort. I mean, it was worth the effort from the point of view of having, having fun and having a go. But let's see if it is actually practical in use. I could do, I could see straight away with a better crane system here. stable until this top piece goes on. I think that's just slightly higher than the post now, which is what I was after. Yeah, so let's go back to this. I have a bit of timber sticking out of the edge there, so it, uh, it works as a counterbalance, which makes that end much lighter. And now that I've got it high up, the lift is very short, so I'm going to put up a ladder and uh, just lift the end over. That's the idea, anyway. It was a good point.
it. It's around the leg. I'm going to go down again. I'll just check this out. There's a play on side. Maybe this post is a little bit low at the moment, which is correct, but now. So now I can mark those things, both depth and width. So that's really what I was waiting for. I didn't want to do it before I put it up. And that is simply because I haven't done it before. I can see that once you've got a routine for this system, you'd be able to do that quite easily, just uh, on the ground. I might do it on the ground for the next one. Actually, I can't do that because it's already put up. Okay. I'm not sure that that um, outside post is the right height either. Now we're not supposed to work from ladders. But uh, this is less than two metres up, so I'm going to let it go. slight bevel on that as well so that it's should wedge in a little bit. It's supposed to be slightly higher at the other end, three about three or four centimetres on it's slightly out of plumb here. But it's actually quite astonishing how little when you have these fixed pieces that have been measured from the meridian lines, how incredibly straight they are in space. You know, they really do occupy the correct plane in space. So I've put my spirit level on the, uh, on the beam, on the meridian line here, and it said that it needed to be up that end by about three or four centimetres. And that's pretty much uh, the, the twist I can see in these lines here. Fascinating. Well, for some. I'm just going to bevel these slightly because I think they might have difficulties in getting to get mating together here. It's also quite exciting to see how much all of this is going to shrink. When it shrinks, when it, because quite a lot of this is fresh timber, so it's going to shrink. It's 23, 24% humidity, I should think, although I haven't measured, as a guess. Okay, those are in, in place now, which means I can mark the ones underneath. And as I said earlier on, I don't know if that's going to get into the film or not, into the edit, but I did say on the other side that I wanted to, to do these in place, I didn't want to do them on the ground. And that is because of my inexperience with this system. And also, I don't really, I don't really like to have to hold an intellectual, you know, a thought picture of the whole building in my head. I, I prefer, I prefer it to arrive gradually, the, the understanding of how to do something like this. Through the practical experience, I find it I find it more thorough. And then I know how much it has to go down because 
Well, I have that meridian line there. I could do it from that, I suppose. That's uh, at the moment is 20 centimeters difference between them. But for this to go down to zero, yeah. Yeah, that's a good way of doing it actually, is to get these two meridian lines to be exactly the same height at both ends. So at the moment that's 20 centimetres, I'm going to check the other end. When the other one is completely down, it'll be 16 between them. So 16 between them means 4.2 centimetres down, which is actually a little bit less than, I, than the gap I have here, which is uh, 4.8. So I need to measure down 4.2 centimetres here, there, and 4.2 here, and then meet those, the join those up. And that's, that's the line they're going to cut down to. And then this is going to be three centimetres further in. So, but I think the battery's going to run out now, so it'll be here somewhere. I'll see that one. I'm just going to leave that one on. Uh, I think that's good. Looks looks very looks really very sturdy.